There is only one book on earth that has caused countless war, death, and torture that has also led to compassion, the transformation of sinners, and resolute hope in a world of despair. That book is none other than the Bible. No matter what the translation, the numerous stories that make up the Bible can be, and often are, interpreted differently by almost each individual. The story of creation and the fall of man are two very popular well-known stories that are often recited even as bedtime stories to children, and consequently are quite popular subjects in art. In contrast to the artistic stereotypical construction of Eve as a sinful, flawed woman, Rose Piper's Eve and the Serpent piece illustrates the biblical first woman using bright and innocent colors to establish the honesty of the newly created world and the goodness that it inhabited. Piper creates Eve with innocent, gazing eyes that look with wonderment at the serpent to construct her innocent and trusting nature. The satanic serpent is winking directly at the viewer, hinting at dramatic irony and showing the manipulation of the naive Eve. Let's begin by calling our attention to the bright colors used in the piece. These wonderful primary and secondary colors are innocent and childlike. These are the colors of the paint samples that fill the purses of expectant mothers. The earth itself was newly born. It was painted by God with hues of innocence, virtuous colors that were virginal and guiltless. Did parents get their nursery inspiration from this biblical story, or did Rose Piper take the impeccant theme into consideration when painting the nursery of humankind? The grass is painted with an almost lime green paint, which is one of the first things that drew me into this painting. It is so bright and innocent. Green is often used to represent new life, which could not be more appropriate for this painting considering it is an interpretation of the very newly created world. One of the brightest highlights of the painting is the fruit on the tree. This adds to Eve's curiosity and attraction to the strange fruit. It is a color that is not seen often. It is mesmerizing for her and also for us. The red color of the fruit could be linked with the devil. The animated lizard-like creature with horns and a tail colored all over in bright red. The elementary impression of what the tempting Satan looks like. Red is often interpreted as a sinful color, associated with both anger and passion. Rose Piper constructed the forbidden fruit using red paint to hint at the passion and anger that it would in turn plague the humankind with for the rest of eternity. Although having a hidden agenda, the snake is a bright blue color, which makes it appealing. The entire painting is made of pure colors that can only be looked at with a positive and admiring view. Definitely the goal of Rose Piper when constructing this piece. The bright colors give us an impression of innocence in the scene, not only in the new earth, but also in the new human. Eve has oftentimes been constructed as a sinful and morally tainted individual in most art. She is held as a sole culprit for her and Adam's exile from the Garden of Eden. However, Rose Piper creates Eve in her painting in a way that is not often found in interpretations of the first woman. Piper creates Eve's sense of innocence through the use of the pure colors. They are innocent and bright. They hide nothing and have only good intentions. This is the way that Piper wanted Eve to be seen, as only having good in intentions when she was living in the Garden of Eden. The honest colors used in the painting contribute to Eve's innocent intentions, along with the way that Rose Piper creates Eve's body language. In the painting, Eve is on her knees and reaching up to stroke the serpent. Eve's position on her knees in front of the snake could be read as an act of submissive adoration for the serpent. However, this is not what Piper intended. She aimed not to make it seem like Eve was worshipping the satanic serpent, but more in a way that highlights her curiosity and wonderment towards the world that she is just discovering. Eve's eyes are entranced. She's looking at the serpent with a sense of inquisitiveness. She's enthralled in the foreign being before her. 
Eve's eyebrows are lifted, hinting again at her eagerness to learn more about a world in which she knows so little. She seems to be viewing the snake as a teacher, or sort of a guide in her life. She's new to things and wants to explore more deeply her new world. How can we blame Eve for wanting to know more? As human beings, we all want to know more. There are always more questions we need, or actually just want, answers to. People do things in attempts to find the mythical answers that they are searching for. How is it that it is so easy to blame Eve for taking action in an attempt to achieve answers to all of her questions when we would certainly do the same? Rose Piper creates this painting as a justification for Eve's truly good intentions. She has bright, curious eyes and appreciative body language that the satanic serpent takes advantage of. Eve cannot be blamed for merely being innocent and interested. Rose Piper successfully creates a look of absolute innocence in the facial expressions and body language of Eve. She uses her crafting ability to also create a look of mischief in the serpent. The snake is not looking directly at Eve. He is looking away as almost a way to intrigue her even more. The serpent is also winking his right eye, the eye that is closest to Eve. Winking is a way of communicating a secretive message. The serpent's face is pointed directly at the viewer as if sharing its evil intentions with us. This is another form of dramatic irony that Rose Piper creates in the piece. We know what the serpent eventually convinces Eve to do, and he is winking as if to say, watch this, as he manipulates Eve's good intentions. This interesting piece by Rose Piper is rather a revolutionary with its diverse interpretation of Eve. Piper constructs her as a new human being innocently interested in the world like everyone else who is taken advantage of by the ill-intentioned conniving satanic serpent.